asking for and giving instructions in English. This video is sponsored by the following English learning sites. There are many ways to give instructions in English. Before we start, let's talk about a few ways to ask for instructions. Asking for instructions. The most common way to ask for instructions is to say, How do you? or How do I? Do not ask how to. That is incorrect. How to fix this? Wrong. The correct way is how do you fix this? When you say how to verb, you are actually giving an answer, not asking a question. As in, this is how to fix a broken headlight. Some other ways to ask for instructions are, what is the best way to? How do I go about it? What do you suggest? How do you suggest I proceed? What is the first step? Giving instructions. This is how you. This is how to. A simple way is just give the steps. First you. Next you. Then you. Finally you. You can also use sequencing words like first, second, third, etc. For example, how do you pay with a credit card on that machine? First, you wait for the amount to appear. Then you put your card in the machine with the computer strip facing you. Next, you swipe your card to the left. Finally, check to see that the machine says done. Thank you. Practice giving simple instructions. Think of a task you do every day. Describe the task in simple terms. For example, how do you send a text message to someone you don't know well? First, you. You can pause the video to practice giving instructions. Let's get into a little more detail. Number one, starting out. Here are a few phrases to get you started when giving instructions. Before you begin, make sure you. The first thing you do is. To begin with, you can. You can start by verb ing. The best place to start is. Sample sentences for beginning instructions. Before you begin, make sure you have all your tools ready. The first thing you do is set the timer. To begin with, you can turn on the overhead light. You can start by opening the window for ventilation. The best place to start is at the top. You can also say, I would start by. This is more like a suggestion. Number one, practice the beginning part of your instructions. Think of something that you are good at. Tell someone else the first steps they need to do to get started with the task. Pause the video and practice giving the first part of your instructions. Two, continuing. To continue giving instructions, you can use phrases like, after that, the next step is to, the next thing you do is, once you've done that, then, when you finish that, then. Sample sentences for continuing. After that, you turn the power on. 
The next step is to open the control valve. The next thing you do is check the water level. Once you've done that, you look at the meter. When you finish that, then put the lid back on. Note, these are just examples. They are in no particular order for doing anything. Two, practice continuing your instructions. Pretend you have already got someone started with the task. What are the next steps in your instructions? Pause the video and practice continuing your instructions. Three, finishing your instructions. Here are some phrases for finishing your instructions. The last step is, the last thing you do is, in the end, when you finish, or when you've finished, when you've completed all the steps. Sample sentences for finishing instructions. The last step is to take the food out of the oven. The last thing you do is twist the cap to tighten it. In the end, you need to wait 30 minutes for it to dry. When you finish, put the paint and paintbrushes away. When you've completed all the steps, remember to unplug the machine. Some people use the present perfect to indicate completion. Practice finishing your instructions. Pretend that your partner is almost finished with the task. Give him or her the final set of instructions. Pause the video and practice finishing your instructions. Now comes the fun part, putting it all together. Ask your partner, teacher, or friend how to perform a specific task. For example, how do you bake cookies? How do you fix a leaky faucet? How do you use a cell phone app? How do you make an appointment with a client? Give your partner simple instructions on how to complete the task. Here are some more ideas for you. How do you use the subway system in this city? How do you fix a broken household item? How do you socialize at a party? How do you play a particular sport? How do you do a specific type of art? Go ahead. Talk. Pause the video to ask for and give instructions. Keep practicing. Keep practicing giving instructions in English and you will get better and better at it. For more information, click on the link in the description below. Also, send us your ideas for our next video. Thanks for watching. Remember to click on the like button if you enjoyed and learned from this. Also, don't forget to subscribe.